Hi everybody, I'm Jim from m, m Tools and Machinery. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the different sizes of the sustainers. Here's your different sizes on the sustainers. Uh, this is your SIS 1, SIS 2, SIS 3, SIS 4, SIS 5. I want you to notice one thing here. This is an old style SIS 4, okay? The new style SIS 4 changes nothing in size. The design of the sustainer changes to look just like those, but the size remains exactly the same on the storage boxes. The bigger SIS storage is SIS 4, smaller SIS storage is SIS 2. This is the SIS MIDI, okay? Uh, depth wise, it is the same depth as a SIS 3, okay? So the SIS MIDI is a SIS 3. Okay, so the SIS toolboxes, really cool. They're cheaper than the normal boxes. The neat thing on these, I don't know if you can see it too well, um, you can actually detach the top part of this handle if you needed to okay um, up in there but the only negative to these is they will lock to themselves which is great okay? um, and since they're cheaper I mean this is a great way to go if you have tools you don't mind hauling kind of in an open way um, and they won't be open all the time but the problem is um, they always have to be on the top okay but they will lock into both the new, okay, right here, and they'll also lock onto the old, just like this, okay? As you can see, um, this all locks together, okay? And you can do as many stacks as you want. So. The old system, like I said, kind of a knuckle breaker, and you have to unlock four sides at once. New system, way better. So cleats on the back, okay? You put the, the sustainer down, and I want to show you this, because we have been getting these sustainers now for however long they've been out, which is like a year, year and a half, and I still have people here, not, the salesman on the floor, we know a little more about Festool, but some of our people that do the ordering, and they still screw this up. So I, I just want everybody to focus on this, okay? What you do is you, those cleats slide right in here. So you don't put it on and then dip it. Well, you can once you get used to it. But what they'll do somehow, if Chase can get a picture of that, is they'll, they'll lock in one side and leave the other side up. Well, the problem there is you see the gap? Well, yeah, you can force that closed if you really work at it. But a few things happen. Either one, this pops off. Two, since it's locked in right there like that, um, the the thing that really anno annoys me is when the case sticks out a little bit like that and then people lock it on and it doesn't break the case but it makes a little mark in it and so it's very annoying um, and that's what will happen when the case is uneven so just so you guys know if you're ever putting together your sustainers because everybody makes mistakes and for some reason um, the case and this is either above or below for some reason it's sticking out on one side stop and take a look because like I said, I can't tell you how many times this happens. Actually, I can tell you. Every time we get a Festool order, it's about every other time I run into this where the case isn't setting, sitting on there properly. And so it's we've closed it wrong. Uh, and we've closed it on that little lip, okay? Does everybody see that little lip? Chase, can you see that little lip? You see this little lip that I'm talking about? That's the mating piece to the top, okay? And what happens when you put it on wrong is the lip will stick out not as bad i mean that's that's a huge exaggeration but it sticks out enough to where it just barely comes down over the edge um it, you know it would be more like that and the reason that it does it is because well you can see what i'm doing here the bottom so the bottom is tweaked it's up a little bit so then you go to close this and guys will catch it like that and yeah you can still force it closed you just put a little cut in that again it doesn't hurt anything it's just maybe my little perfectionism or ocd or whatever coming out Pay attention when you put them on. Put them down, slide them in. And once you get used to it, you'll just pay attention when you put them on and it'll be a little bit faster, okay? Right? And then, this is another part that's awesome. No knuckle breaking anymore. You don't have to go around to four sides. Once that's locked in, just like that. Ta-da! Okay? So, to open, you're always up, right? This is the other cool thing. If I wanted to open this bottom box right here, I have to take this box off to get at it. Right now with the Fest tool boxes, all I gotta do is go like that and I'm right in there. Now you support the weight of the top so you don't rip the lid off, of course, but support the weight of the top. Um, but you can still get in the bottom. Okay, 
So to the side means you're locked to another box. On the bottom is how you disconnect it. Just like that, very easy, super simple. Okay, you slide it on, get the cleat on there, lock it in, one you wanna unlock, unlock it, when you wanna open it, all the way around, okay? Very easy. So that's how that works, that's the new system versus the old. Okay, now connecting the new to the old. You can definitely connect them both, but if you'll notice here, you see the, see on the four sides, the little cleats, okay, or well, not the same as those cleats, but the little teeth, maybe we'll call those teeth. So the little teeth attach to these boxes. So you gotta pick your little knuckle breaker and put these on there, okay? Slide it up. And just like that. And no problem, we're all connected, okay? So the new one always has to be on the top of the old ones. You can't, you can't uh, put the new on the bottom and lock them together. The new can sit on the bottom, the old ones can sit right here on top of it. Um, they're just not locked in, right? I mean, they'll sit there. There's nothing really holding them. The Sys MIDI does not attach to the old style boxes at all, okay? See, no teeth, no teeth on here. So the Sys MIDI can attach to other Sys MIDIs. See the cleats down here. This is the normal size cleat, right? Normal on any box. This is if you're gonna attach a Sys MIDI to a Sys MIDI, is right there, and you use the same attachment point. So, if I wanna connect a Sys MIDI to a normal sustainer, new style, because I can't do the old. If I'm gonna attach a Sys MIDI to a, a new style sustainer, it's kind of a pain, because you gotta find your spot, but even if it is, you just match up your lines, right? Okay? Before, I wasn't paying attention, and so I was only over here, that doesn't help. But just match up your lines, put the cleats in, and voila, you're connected. So again, we're gonna take the cleat. We're gonna pay attention to our lines, right? And there you go. And we can go as high as we want, right? And like we talked about with the, with the Sys toolbox, I can't connect it below, but I can connect it up above, right? Here's my cleats. Right there, spin that around. I'm gonna slide that right in, and we're gonna connect it. And they're all connected, we can lift them all up, take them all with us, we can go as high as we want, okay? So Festool calls these sustainers. It's a system container. So system container, sustainer, makes sense, right? I hope that helps you understand better the Festool sustainer system. Please watch the other videos, let us know what you think, and as always, if you have ideas of other videos that you want us to show please let us know and we'll do our best please feel free to call us or email us or uh, i think we have somebody that's uh instant messaging too so please let us know if you have questions thanks for watching